Now we will discuss the applications of Bernoulli's principle. Bernoulli's principle is almost a consequence or analogous or similar to the law of conservation of energy. And the many applications are available we can observe in case of Bernoulli's principle. The one of the first example in the Bernoulli's principle is velocity of a flux. It is also called Torricelli's theorem. This is the application of Bernoulli's principle. First of all, what is the meaning of F flex? Let us take a water tanker or a big container has large dimensions and large volume filled with a fluid or a liquid, nothing but water. Whenever this tank is closer like this, it is having the height of capital H means the height of the water tanker is capital H. Now, on the second end, we did one hole to leak the water. So, through the hole, the water will come out. It occupies the parabolic path while it is approaching to the earth. The water which is coming out of the hole from a certain height is called a flux. Entering is entering flux, leaving is a flux. Now, this hole is at a distance of h from the top surface. From the bottom, it is at a height of h minus h. So, if this is the case, what is the velocity of the flux through this hole? This will be determined by using the Bernoulli's principle. What is the actual statement of the Bernoulli's principle? P plus half rho v square plus rho g h is equal to constant. If you consider this equation to the part 1 and part 2, this equation will be balanced like this p1 plus half rho v1 square plus rho g h1 is equal to p2 plus half rho v2 square plus rho g h2. Now, we should substitute this h1 and h2 values and v1 and v2 values all remaining are equal throughout the flx. Now, we should apply the equation of continuity to solve the equation. If suppose, if you see the top surface of this water tanker or the container, its area of cross section is let us say capital A. If you see the total, the surface area of the hole is small a. Through the small a, it is moving with a velocity small v. From the top surface, it is moving with a velocity capital V. Or we can write V dash. So what we can write from this equation is according to equation of continuity, A V is equal to capital A V dash. So from this, if you want to find out the velocity here, V is equal to A by A into V dash. Capital A by small a into V dash. Now, there will be some changes occurred in this equation. So what are the changes? So now, this is the Bernoulli's equation. Now we will see the changes in this equation. Means changes are nothing but we should uh, substitute the terminologies which are related to this propagation. So P, P naught because in the both ends atmosphere only experiencing the pressure. Means atmosphere is injecting the pressure to the liquid. So because of that the water is effluxing. So P naught plus half rho V square plus rho g into 0 because if water has leaked 
this will be a free surface up to this hole this whole layer will be leaked out so this hole will be a free surface on the free surface there is no liquid above that that's why we can substitute h is equal to 0 therefore it is p naught plus half rho v dash square plus rho g h why it is h so from height h it is falling the pressure is falling from height h so at this height we should experience the pressure so that's why up to this the height is h so this equation will be p naught plus half rho v square is equal to p naught plus half rho v dash square plus rho g h p naught and p naught gets cancelled so we got half rho v square is equal to half rho v dash square plus rho g h rho 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 gets cancelled but we can say that a v is equal to a v dash so from this v dash is equal to small a by capital A into V. Now, I am substituting this V dash value in this equation. After the cancellations of rho, this equation will be like this. V square by 2 is equal to V dash square by 2 plus GH. So, it will be V square is equal to V dash square plus 2GH. So, we got the equation v square by 2 is equal to v dash square by 2 plus g h. So, if you simplify this equation, v square is equal to v dash square plus 2 g h. Now, we should substitute v dash square values. So, a v is equal to capital A v dash. So, from this v dash is equal to small a by capital A into v. Now, I am substituting this v dash value in the above equation. So, therefore, v square is equal to a by a into v whole square plus 2 g h. Therefore, it is a square by a square into v square plus 2 g h is equal to v square. So, from this 2 g h is equal to, we will get the equation v square minus a square v square by capital A square. Suppose if you take v square as common, it is 1 minus a square by a square is equal to 2 g h. So, therefore, v square is equal to 2 g h by 1 minus a square by a square. v is equal to square root of 2 g h by 1 minus a square by a square. So, what we can write? What is this v? Velocity of a flux through the cross section area small a. So, this is the expression for the velocity of a flux. It is square root of 2 g h by 1 minus small a square by capital A square. So, like this we can able to find out the velocity of a flux. This is also called Torricelli's equation for the fluid mechanics. Good sir. So, from this equation, if we check the special condition like A is much less than capital A, the area of cross section of the hole is much less than the area of cross section of the top of the water tanker, then we can neglect the denominator part because A is very less than small a, then this A square by A square will be less than 1 and we can cancel out. So, therefore, this will become V is equal to square root of 2 g h. This is almost analogous to v square minus u square is equal to 2 a s. For freely falling body u is equal to 0. Therefore, v square is equal to 2 a s. If the height tra uh, traveled by the body means uh, from height h if when the body is dropped then we can write s is equal to h and a is equal to g. Therefore, v square is equal to 2 g h v is equal to square root of 2 g h. So, whenever a flux is coming out of the hole to a tanker or a vessel, it is behaving as 
a freely falling body and its velocity is equal to square root of 2g h if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus